Oh, when COVID was around, everybody knew about the National Rent Grant Program, Emergency Rental Assistance, it was called. And it was in every state, every county, or whatever. And it was a national program. Uh, but now most of that is gone. And there, some of it is still there, but not a whole lot. But there's still a lot of rent grants. So that's the problem. problem. Got people going out and find rent grants, and they talk to somebody about it. Oh, no, that, that program's over. There's no money. <laughs> that's crazy. There's always money there for there. It's just not in the same places where you thought it was or anybody else thought it was. And that's why I want to show you the kinds of things that are still out there and, and how to find them. Now look what Delaware has. Delaware has a program They'll pay up to $18 a month for three months of rent. So maybe it's not $7,000 or $10,000 like the feds give, but a lot of these programs will go up to five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 eventually. Some of them even smaller. So you have to find out what is available in your area. And remember, all of it is money you never have to pay back. <laughs> and actually, in Delaware, that covers late fees you have because maybe you didn't pay the last couple of months and security deposits. So that's what's also covered in these grants, but they're not from a single source. Every city will have more than one. Every city will have a dozen, two dozen, three dozen even, and that's what you have to look for. Okay, now here, here's another. It's not only for uh, individuals in rent, it's also for businesses. And actually what's happening now uh, is businesses get free rent, right? If you have a retail business in most cities, man, <laughs> they don't want to lose you. They'll give you free rent or start a business now with free rent. <laughs> That's right. Uh, actually, this is San Francisco. Man, you know they're paying like $10,000 a, a month for a little uh, rental space in San Francisco. They're giving it free now. Six months of free rent to see if you can make it. Washington, D.C. is probably the same thing. So this isn't uh, time uh, to really start ideas because you won't have to pay rent. <laughs> so look for it. <laughs> uh, actually, my son, where he lives out, out in a rural area, God, the, the bread maker got a retail space for two years of free rent. Two years. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's it. We're just starting here. The other thing, a place to go is find help because most of these program, rent programs are going to be from nonprofit organizations that raise money from certain HUD programs and other federal programs and also from private donations. So there's a lot of rent money because people want to help each other. And that's what these nonprofits are for. Google is not for people trying to help each other and give you money. Google is for trying to get your money. So stay away from Google if you don't have any money and find the people who do have money uh, to give you. Uh, and that's what you go to findhelp.org. <coughs> findhelp.org. I said that a long time. I say that a lot of time. I mention people as a great place to start. And what you do is you put in your zip code, like for my zip code, 20009. Listen to this. I got 622 programs when I put in emergency assistance, okay? So you have an emergency. That's right. You're not only looking for rental assistance. There's a programs that have just rental assistance, but you also want emergency assistance. This is an emergency. I'm going to be thrown out of my house. <laughs> so that, that's a problem. See, the robots, everything is the computers, and, and you have to realize how it's organized in the computer. It may be just under emergency money and not rent money. So that's why you have to be a little, but 600 programs in one zip code. You hear that? 600 programs in one zip code. <laughs> so you have no reason to say nothing's out there. Okay, here's another one. Uh, uh, now, this is just not a whole lot of money, but this is out in Colorado, a, a county out there. They're giving people $825 towards your rent. So nobody rents anything for $825. Oh, maybe they do, but uh, most people aren't. And that's available. And listen to this, the income requirement is up to $70,000. That's right. Oh, I have to be poor. I have to be indigent. I have to be on the street in the gutter or whatever. No, <laughs> no, don't worry about what income requirements are. Just go find the program. If they say that you make too much money, then look for another program. That's how the system works work. And then, and also ask the persons who turns you down. If someone turns you down for money, you ask, hey, well, where else can I go? And actually, remember, the best way to find out about programs is getting on your phone. Please 
get on your phone and talk to people because that's how you really find out what can help you, okay? Please use your phone. You're going to get a lot more success using your phone than just going uh, Googling your butt off and going in Google circles and getting nothing. You can, No, you have to talk to people. It's more complicated than you think. It's not the way you want it to be. Remember, life isn't the way you want it to be. It never has been and never will. So you have to learn how it is, what it is, and how the heck you can use it, okay? And that takes a little flexibility on your side. That's why you talk to people and they'll do that. Okay, so we got uh, to $800 a month. Okay, 20 people. Oh, here. I also went into chat GPT and say, hey, can you show me 20 examples of people who are able to get help paying their rent from nonprofit organizations in Pennsylvania? Here they are. Jessica in Philadelphia, she received rental assistance from Project Home. And that link is a hot link. Their website is there because I asked for the website, which helps low-income families and individuals. Link is projecthome.org. David in Pittsburgh. David was able to avoid eviction and help with the Urban League of Greater Pittsburgh, which provided him with emergency rental assistance. And there's their website. Monica in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. <laughs> he got support from the Christian Churches of the United of the County of Tri County area, a nonprofit that helps with emergency housing needs. Kevin in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Kevin, Kevin received, I finally, well, come on, Johnny, who do we have next? Kevin received rental assistance from the Community Action Lehigh Valley, which helped him stay in the apartment during the financial crisis. And the communityactionlv.org is the website. Sarah in, La in Lancaster. Sarah, with the help of Tab Tabor County Community Services, which provided her with emergency rental assistance to avoid eviction. Okay, website, tabornet.org, T-A-B-O-R-N-E-T.org. Frank in Scranton. I went to Scranton Prep. I actually flunked out of Scranton Prep, tell you the truth. <laughs> Frank was able to get rental assistance from United Neighborhood Centers of Northeastern Pennsylvania, which supports families with housing stability. And our website is uncnepa.org. Dot org, never a dot com. Dot coms want your money. Dot orgs give you money. Tim in Reading, Pennsylvania. Tim was able to secure rental assistance from the Brooks Coalition to End Homelessness, which provided him with the necessary funds to avoid eviction. See, you thought there's only one source or whatever. Nah, nonsense. And their website is bceh.org. Rachel in New York, Pennsylvania. Rachel was helped with bail socialization services. Hmm, socialization. Something interesting there. A nonprofit that provided the rental assistance during a difficult time. Mark in Bethlehem. Mark avoided eviction with the help of New Bethany Ministries. Oh, and Tom in Wilkesboro. That's where my hometown, Wilkesboro, Pennsylvania. Tom received rental assistance from the Commission on Economic Opportunity, a nonprofit that supports low income families and housing needs. Website CEO People, uh, People Helping People. Okay, there's Maria in Altoona, Nancy in Westchester, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You got the picture, right? <laughs> and it's there for you. Man, just don't complain. Do something. You know, you, it, life is going to beat us all up. You know, we all got to take our turns getting beat up. Okay, but what you do with that, and that's the time to stretch, to learn, hey, to find out shit you never knew before. For four. And the only way you're going to do that is get on the phone and start talking to people who are in the business to help you. That's all they do. They get paid to find money for you. I get paid by you. So be careful <laughs> if you join me. I'm going to charge you $20. But these people do it for free. <laughs> that's who you want to check first. And it's all free. And it's free for you just because you live here. Okay. That's what's so great about America. Man, there's so much good shit in America. Everybody beats it up. Sure, there's bad shit, too. Bad stuff in me, too. You just heard I flunked out of school. So everything. We all have bad parts. <laughs> but there's a lot of good in all of us. So find the good stuff. Forget the bad stuff. Just go to the next person, okay? That's what it is. And if I really need our help, which we give you unlimited personal help to apply for every grant at lescohelp.com. And I'm going to do this till I die because I feel so good helping people. And it makes my heart grow every time. And so that's the best thing I could do. Nothing else is going to grow at this age. I get slower. I get dumber. I get fatter. But I can love better. So let me help you find some help, please.